Hello booktube. <laughs> my name is Erin and this is my channel where I talk about books. Today I want to do an author spotlight. Um, it's a kind of a new thing I'm hoping to do on this channel. This one is a Canadian author. He is fantastic. I'll get started. Earlier this week, or earlier this month, earlier this year, sometime in the recent history, Stuart McLean passed away. Now, if you're Canadian, you may have heard Stuart McLean on CBC Radio weekends at like noonish our time. I don't know if it's different across the country. I don't know what time it is on for you guys, but he had a wonderful, wonderful radio program that he did every week. And he also tours toured the country every year at Christmas. And I'm really disappointed because we always put it off and put it off. And unfortunately, now he's gone, which I think he was kind of a national treasure. But I did. I loved him. I loved his work. I loved his stories. So today I want to talk a bit about Stuart MacLean and what he did for Canadian literature. Stuart MacLean, as part of his radio show, he had a segment where he had recurring characters and he would basically tell a short story. This was the short stories about... Dave and Morley and their family and friends, and I believe they lived in Nova Scotia, but it might have been Ontario. I can't remember. I actually don't know where it's set. Okay, well anyway, it's set in Canada, a small town in Canada. These books are compilations of these short stories, and he would read them, a short story on the air, when he did his show every week. One of the things he would do, and they're humorous little short stories about life in a small town. And I have read and listened to several of these. I love the audiobooks because they're actually told by Stuart McLean, and it's just like listening to a radio program, obviously, because that's what it is. Uh, but they're such neat little stories. So Dave, I believe... Okay, so we're just going to go with this. Dave owns a record store in the town where they live, and it's called the Vinyl Cafe. So this is stories from the Vinyl Cafe. I think that's what it's called. I'm doing, I'm knocking this out of the park. Have you heard of Stuart, Stuart McLean? Apparently I have not. So he tells these short stories every week. I have listened to and read several of these because I just think they're awesome. When I listen to, when I read them, I even read them in his voice with his cadence and his pauses. And it's just amazing. It's, it's such a loss for Canadian um, culture, actually, that we lost him. He is, he was remarkable. How about that? So the other thing that he did, in addition to that, was he put together, he compiled this book of short stories, When We Were Young. These are all short stories written by Canadian authors. In When We Were Young, best-selling author Stuart MacLean has selected his favorite stories of childhood from some of Canada's most esteemed writers. This collection reveals the many truths of early life, passion and imagination, humiliation and insecurity, friendship and first love, creating a walk through the past, both familiar and unexpected. The stories in here are from Margaret Atwood, Ellen Montgomery, just trying to pick names that you might recognize, uh, Alistair MacLeod, W.O. Mitchell, I've talked about him before, Alice Munro. Those are some of the authors that are in here and it's just this compilation of short stories. He is a man that obviously enjoyed a short story, but he told a great short story. And I'm so glad that in my lifetime, I had a chance to hear him on the radio. I had a chance to buy his books and listen to his, his audio books. Just remember what life is about and how simple everything could be. I mean, when you read these books, Dave gets into so much trouble. The things he does and his kids do is just amazing and hilarious. Uh, the stories are great. They're, they're definitely humorous and there's something that I always enjoy. Like when I'm looking for something comforting, something easy to read, if I don't feel like a mystery or a thriller, because those are kind of my go-tos, or if I've read too many mysteries and thrillers, I will pick up Stuart McLean and read these homey little lovely stories about Canada and the little things that matter more than some of the big things. If you have not read or listened to Stuart McLean, please go out and find some of his books if you're Canadian or even if you're American, because I will... Okay, I, I'm not going to offer to send you the books because I will forget and um, you'll never get them. But seriously, if you have a chance to pick up some Stuart McLean, you know, one of his nice light little, like they're short, little books of short stories, I think you will not regret it. Thank you for watching. I think I've babbled on enough in my love of this very Canadian author. 
have a great day, everyone. Bye. Moo. I did not stop recording. <laughs> <laughs> Moo.